Bible Verses on Peace, Part 4 Isaiah 55, 12 For you shall go out in joy, and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Hebrews 12, 11 For the moment all discipline seems painful, rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Isaiah 32, 17 And the effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness, quietness and trust forever. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 12, 17-21. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, he will keep burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Proverbs 20, 3 It is an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife, but every fool will be quarreling. Romans 14, 17 For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Proverbs 16, 32 Whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. Jeremiah 29, 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Colossians 3, 13 Bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. 1 Thessalonians 5, 15 See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. Thank you, Father, that you are the God of peace. Thank you, Father, that in the middle of chaos, in the middle of confusion, you give us peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your grace. We love you so much. And we pray, Holy Spirit, that you would remind us to stay in your peace, no matter what our circumstances are. We love you, King Jesus, and in sing your mighty name we pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We post videos Monday through Saturday. You can also find us on Instagram at livingtruthco. Thank you for the support. God bless you.